Hello everyone. Now this is one more PDF problem. Continuous random variable problem. I will read the problem first. Let x be a continuous rb with pdf. The pdf is given in this form. f of x is equal to ax if x lies between 0 and 1. f of x is equal to a if x lies between 1 and 2. f of x is equal to minus ax plus 3a if x lies between 2 and 3. 0 in the remaining cases. Now what we have to find? We have to find, determine the constant a and we have to compute p of x less than or equal to 15 x less than or equal to 15 these two values you need to calculate the pdf is given in this form now in the remaining solutions we did we know that we know that formula integral minus infinity to plus infinity f of x dx is equal to 1 we know this one now our values are lies between implies this is formula integral minus infinity plus infinity f of x dx is equal to 1 but our values are in between minus infinity to plus infinity this is number line minus infinity here somewhere 0 here plus infinity is there somewhere plus infinity is there in between 0 after that 0 uh, 1 is there 2 is there 3 is there like that now f of x value is now from this minus infinity to minus infinity to plus infinity now minus infinity to 0 f of x dx plus 0 to 1 our given limits are 0 to 1 f of x dx plus 1 to 2 f of x dx plus 2 to 3 2 to 3 f of x dx is equal to 1 our formula is integral minus infinity to plus infinity f of x dx is equal to 1 to come from minus infinity to plus infinity our limits are we, we have to find minus infinity to plus infinity to find from minus infinity to plus infinity first we have to come I will split into uh, parts minus infinity to 0 0 to 1 and 1 to 2 2 to 3 and uh, 3 to infinity also 3 to infinity in the remaining cases if x lies between 0 and 1 f of x uh, 0 and 1 f of x value is ax minus infinity to 0 if x lies between in the remaining cases in the remaining cases f of x is equal to 0 if x lies between 0 and 1 this is like this 1 to 2 f of x is a 2 to 3 f of x is equal to this much in the remaining cases it is 0 minus infinity it is 0 if x lies between minus infinity to 0 the value is 0 now 0 to 1 the value is uh, integral one, uh, 0 to 1 0 to 1 f of x is 0 to 1 if f of x is ax 1 to 2 1 to 2 a 2 to 3 minus ax plus 3a dx 2 to 3 is equal to 1 that is equal to uh, plus uh, plus uh, 3 to in plus infinity 3 to in plus infinity also plus 0 3 to plus infinity also 0 that's why now from minus infinity to plus infinity these many split we splitted minus infinity to 0 0 to 1 1 to 2 2 to 3 3 to infinity minus infinity to 0 0 3 to infinity also 0 in the remaining cases there, there are only 3 things I wrote a into x square by 2 0 to 1 a into I am integrating 1 to 2 plus minus a into x square by 2 2 to 3 plus 3 a into x is equal to 1 After integration, after integration, if you simplify, you will get a is equal to 1 by 2. After integration, if you simplify, after cancelling few terms, you will get a is equal to 1 by 2. Next, we have to find p of x less than or equal to 1.5. To find p of x less than or equal to 1.5, P of x less than or equal to 
less than or equal to 1.5 our number system is minus infinity to plus infinity uh, we have to find x less than or equal to 1.5 1.5 somewhere minus 1.5 x value is less than 1.5 means less than 1.5 means uh, minus infinity to 1.5 f of x dx x value we are finding x value less than or equal to below 1.5 means minus infinity to 1.5 that is equal to now minus infinity to 0 f of x dx 0 to 1 f of x dx plus 1 to 1.5 f of x dx because we are finding minus infinity to 1.5 to find minus infinity to 1.5, I splitted this one into minus infinity to 0, 0 to 1, between 1 to 1.5 because till 1.5 only we need to find. Now, in the remaining cases it is 0, the value is 0. Uh, now, 0 to 1 f of x value is, uh, 0 to 1 f of x value is ax, a, a is how much? 1 by 2 x dx plus between 1 and 1.5 between 1 and 2 this is a a means a by 2 1 and 1.5 dx that is equal to 1 by 2 into x square by 2 integrating simplifications now if you simplify if you simplify, you will get like this answer. Minus infinity to 1.5. Simplifications. Now the next problem is, if a random variable x has a continuous distribution function, f of x is equal to capital F of x. Remember, this is not PDF. Continuous distribution function capital F of x is equal to 0 for x less than or equal to 0. In case of x less than or equal to 0, capital F of x is 0. If x greater than 0, f of x is equal to this one. Find c and this one. Now here they did not give small f of x pdf. They have given capital F of x. Capital F of x means distribution, distribution function capital F of x. Given capital F of x is equal to c into 1 minus e to the power of minus x. Now, this capital F of x distribution function, this one we have to convert into pdf by d by dx of f of x will become small f of x, pdf of f of x. pdf f of x is equal to differentiation of capital F of x. Differentiation of this one is c into e to the power of minus x is minus of minus becomes if you differentiate this one it is minus e to the power of minus x you will get minus into minus plus you will get this one you will get can constant will become zero if you differentiate you will get like this now like this first of all we have to we have to find the sm small f of x means pdf now first bit we will find c we know that We know that integral minus infinity to plus infinity f of x dx is equal to 1. Now, now our <coughs> number line is minus infinity plus infinity somewhere 0. Now, x less than or equal to 0 minus infinity to 0 f of x dx plus 0 to infinity f of x dx is equal to 1. Now, if when, whenever given whenever x less than 0 cap, uh, whenever x less than 0 the capital x is 0 plus c into c e to the power of minus x 0 to 1 0 to infinity C into C 
c is equal to 1 if you do the simplifications you will get c is equal to 1 another bit we need to find is p of 1 less than x less than 2 x lies between 1 and 2 integral that is equal to integral 1 to 2 e to the power of minus x dx is equal to between 1 to 2 means x greater than 0 we have to take we have got c value c value is equal to 1 we substituted c that's why we, we wrote like this e to the power of minus x and if you integrate you will get like this thank you